Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorian with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a brand new season in which we are going to be going into the insane difficulty. I've decided we are going to start the new season now because there are some major changes coming to the game somewhat soon. I'm currently in the unstable branch, which means most of these changes are already affecting my gameplay. The reason I'm going to start now then, rather than waiting until they're all nice and stable, is because a lot of the changes don't really affect the early game so much, but will affect the light game, and in particular the light game vehicle design quite drastically. These changes are how thrusters now work, and the addition of two new items being the gyro array and the... The inertial dampener. That's the other item which has been added, which I really want to play around with because this will massively help your braking in particular when you're going forwards so it will stop you dead rather than you ramming into the item in front of you. I don't believe it can be used for braking side to side or anything to do with pitch but I will find that out very soon as we go to use it. So this is the beta world and let's just get straight into it. Welcome to the galaxy. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and stockpile two 2000 iron and then we're going to make our first vehicle because the mining lasers on the vehicle are better than the mining lasers from the drone at least in terms of efficiency. I will be skipping quite a few things in the videos from now because we've already done most of the things in the game so expect these videos to be a bit more heavily edited than the last season and possibly a little bit shorter although that remains to be seen. Also, I swear that iron looked red then for a second. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding Avorian straight away. I found my first piece of titanium over there, so before we mine it, I think it would be best if we made our craft. Of course, the reason for this is because with the craft, we can add our new mining lasers, which will be more powerful. So... Here are the new items. We have the iron directional thrusters, which are more powerful, although, of course, they don't have all of their sides functional. We have the gyro array, which increases our rotation speed. Does that require power? Yes, it does does, okay, although not too much. We then have the inertial dampener. Sorry, the inertia dampener. So this creates artificial subspace friction, it has a low durability and a high energy consumption, and of course, it reduces drifting. That's very nice indeed, and I will use this as soon as I have some more power, because that is really, really power hungry, as you can probably tell by the fact it tells you that. So, I would like to try out the gyro array, so let's put that here, going to keep it this size, and then we're going to have three engines, like so. Want to keep the first vehicle pretty simple, so let's just go with this. Lower down on top. Somewhat tempted not to have the back engine, actually, because I've just realised we could make this look really good really easily, but the back section there is going to mess with that. So for now, you're going to go away. Oh, we do need some crew quarters, actually, before I forget. So crew quarters, how much will that give me? Plus four, that'll be enough, at least for the time being. Now, since we're called the Might, I think we should focus on being quite, quite simplistic, quite jagged around the edges. That way it looks a little bit more insectoid. Although, I could go down a completely different route. I'm not too sure just yet. Either way, let's just keep on building. So, after changing my mind at least six times in the last three minutes, this is how it looks right now. This is only the back section, and I'm quickly realising that the front section is going to have to be very stumpy for this to look even slightly decent. I feel like what I'm going to have to do is use this as a manned vessel to follow us around afterwards and then build something larger because I can't see myself being able to continuously upgrade this like we did with the Brute. 
On the upside, that will force us to actually have a fleet for once, which will be something nice and different. Finally, I feel like we're nearing the end shape. Although it's very, very simplistic, I quite like it. It's nice, it's simple, and we're going to have to get rid of it later on to upgrade, because there is no way I'm going to be able to continuously upgrade this thing. It does, though, at least look like a finished craft. It looks like something which is done. It's completed. It's a tiny little fighter, not a battleship. I completely forgot just how few colours you're actually given at the start of this game. I have none of the stuff I wanted to use. In my head, once again, I had an idea. I knew what it was going to look like. Very dark greens and perhaps a few very bright yellows, but... No, that didn't really pan out. So, let's just keep on adding paints until something clicks. On the upside, it is fairly obvious where the paints need to go. We have the center section, the back section, and then the two side plates. And each of them can either be a different color or connect to each other. And that's really it. That's the only choice we need to make. That definitely works. But boy, is that boring. However, if we put the gamma down so it's at the regular gamma, it actually looks kind of glorious. Oh, I don't know. Do we want the world to be a little bit darker so that we may be beautiful? Or shall we keep it nice and easy to see? Oh, that's such a difficult choice. Now begins the very tedious process of replacing all the stuff I've placed into its armor variants which sadly is incredibly dull. There we are, two pieces are done. And now for the rest. Now it's time to add our weapons. So the game has given us two double mining turrets, which are independent targeting and actually remarkably efficient, at least for starter weapons. And then we also have a double chain gun turret, or at least we have two of them, but we can only use one since we're going with double mining weapons, at least for now. I think that seems reasonable. But now I do need some miners. I do already have some specialized gunners. We need four miners, or at least four worth of miners. I also apparently have too many gyros. Higher crew. First of all, though, let's just grab ourselves some miners. I think three will be enough, since they're worth 1.5 each, at least at level one. And then as they level up, they'll be worth even more. We need more energy, so let's go out and get ourselves some titanium. That way... Let's put both of you on two. That way we can make ourselves some generators. Also noticing that we're sliding far too much. Clearly need some more thruster placements. I wonder what happened to those pirates from only a moment ago. Pirates appeared, pirates vanished. Okay then. Now I did see some titanium not too long ago, where is it? Well, I found out what happened to the pirates. They were kind of just right there. And I have taken damage, of course I have. I don't yet have an integrity field generator, so all of my stuff is very, very vulnerable. If I can get one hit on these pirates, I should be able to claim a reward with the faction in this area. Plus, there'll be some loot, and loot is good. We really do need some modules as soon as possible. Just one hit, there we go. Face the wrath of my six damage. Ow. Stop shooting at me, I'm doing like nothing to you. We are really doing nothing to these guys. Let's just pretend we're helping. We helped, ooh a blue, yes please. And thank you for the money and the reward. Ooh, a salvaging turret. That's going to come in very handy. And a really nice mining turret. That's actually exactly what we wanted. All we need now is a decent module. Ow. 
And I also need to repair. Take that, bandits. Fear the might of might. The new mining weapon has just been added, and by the looks of things, we also got a new chain gun turret. Although, sadly, it's not really all that good. And the same goes for the modules we have. Bonus shield durability to our vehicle without shields, and extra weapons, which is pretty good. But we can't even generate enough power for the stuff we've got at the moment, so... Not just yet. Soon, but not yet. Also, if I add two of these little fins on the bottom, I could then have all of my mining weapons on the fins, which would look really cool. Well, got to be honest, this looks really cool. I'm very happy with the placement of the mining lasers. I've also added some more of the inertia dampeners, and they do seem to be having quite a powerful effect. It turns out, at least from what I'm gathering at the moment, that the inertia dampeners will also slow you down no matter which direction you are moving. So for instance right now I am slowly moving towards the right, and as you can see all of the inertia dampeners on the back suddenly activate. So it isn't just about stopping the ship from moving forwards it's any direction. So I really need more of these, but sadly they take up a lot of power, so what I need to find is that titanium I found a moment ago, and have now completely lost. Where is it? Well, it's not titanium, but apparently there was a fight going on here earlier, and we've just got ourselves a generator upgrade. A really good one. Plus 82% generated energy, plus 32% recharge rate. That is really, really good. We've even found a small hyperspace upgrade. Not the best one in the world, but definitely what we're after. So, well done to whoever killed this guy. Thank you, Starter Faction. What are you got? Wait, are you guys fighting a salesman? Um, will I get rep for helping here? It is a civilian ship, and normally you're very heavily penalized for doing this, but it seems like this faction hates them as well, so sure, fire away. Oh no, but we're good with these guys, but he will drop loot. I'm sorry, I want the loot and the rep with this faction. Plus it means we can kill something with such weak, weak weapons, and you apparently have no weapons at all, which is pretty darn fantastic. Yep, we do no damage here. We helped, and by the looks of things, that's the same faction, so let's see if we can help out with this one. Maybe this one will be a bit faster. Whoa, these guys hate everyone. This is a different faction. At least I think it's a different faction. I'll look back at the footage and figure out if it was or wasn't. Did we help? Really? We get no bonus for helping here? Well, at least one module dropped. And are you made of titanium? No, you're made of iron. Oh no, you are partially made of titanium. Fantastic. Which means if I put on my scrapper weapon, I can get some titanium for a generator. Just remove you for a second. No mirroring, thank you very much. Oh yeah, we need titanium armor to even do that. Well, never mind then. Do we not have a iron salvaging turret? An iron salvaging turret would be awesome. Uh, apparently not. Never mind then, we'll just shoot at it a little bit. Well, it may be tiny, but at least it is indeed titanium. And apparently pirates are once again attacking the sector, so we will go there and try to help out again in hopes that we'll get some more decent modules. I've also now started to round off the bottom of this craft, so we are very, very close to its final form. I still think it needs a bit more prettying up though, it looks a bit too simple at the moment, and I'm still not certain about the colour scheme. I'm also realising it is looking like something from Star Fox. 
Okay, that looks better. Having a bit of a back section to the craft means it looks a little bit better rounded, even though it does still look quite retro, to be perfectly honest, in terms of the overall style. I am still fairly happy with it. We need it to be quite distinct if we're going to use these in a fleet, because they're so very small. If we go too intricate with the details, if we don't have very sharp features, we won't really be able to see them, they will just simply blend into the space around us, just like the mining drone would. So I think this will work out well. The last thing we need to do is change up the bottom, but we can do that once we've added some more of these things like the generator. Well, that looks a fair bit better. Okay, so the bottom has been smoothed off somewhat. I've added some more gyroscopes so we can turn a little bit faster, and I've added even more of the inertia dampeners. So now, we should be able to turn faster and stop a lot quicker. Ultimately, we're a lot more functional, and we look better for it. Whilst the mite goes ahead and mines, let's add ourselves a nice titanium integrity field generator. This massively ups the durability of all blocks which are affected by it, and until we can add shields, this is definitely something we desperately need. So let's just put them along the top like so, which has definitely covered all of the top section. Wonderful. There's the bottom section covered. So now all we need to do is try to cover the center. Now where can we put this without making it too obvious? That looks okay. Most of the ship is now covered, but once again the center isn't, and that's a little bit annoying since that's our main armor segment. I don't really want this to go any further down, otherwise it's going to be absolutely huge. Oh, but look at us mining. Once more we have pirates, and now the entire ship is covered in the integrity field, and we are getting remarkably close to its finished form. Once again, this is not meant to be a main ship, this is going to be a fleet of many, and well, it kind of shows because of how cheap we're trying to build this thing. Lots of iron and very, very little titanium. Okay, you're the closest. I think I'm in range. I can't quite remember the range of these chain guns. Excellent, I am. Just do a little bit of damage here and there to try and soak up some of that bonus. Do we get a thank you for helping? It doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Excellent, I did. And we get a pretty rubbish double chain gun turret and a fair bit of money. Well, I'm very thankful for the money, if nothing else. Money is the way to Lathrix's heart. I have to say, though, the changes to how the thrust works in this game is really difficult to get used to. It's like, before the Unstable Branch, all of the controls were very arcadey, and now they're more... I can't quite describe it. A lot more floaty, no matter how you upgrade your vessel, but also a lot more... One second, being distracted because we're shooting, but also a lot less responsive. It's more like you feel the weight of your craft more. That's neither a good nor a bad thing. I kind of see where they're going with this and how they're trying to advance with it, but it is really weird to get used to. I'm probably going to crash quite a lot. I'm helping to attack an innocent salesman. Why are you even in this sector if this faction hates you so much? I mean, honestly, it's mostly your fault that just happened, not mine. Ooh, we don't have any cargo space, so we cannot steal from that. Speaking of which, I'm not going to do any trading either during this Let's Play. I thought I mentioned it earlier, but now thinking about it, I actually didn't. Either way though, yep, no trading whatsoever because it is absolutely overpowered, and it kind of negates the whole putting everything on insane difficulty and stuff if I can just make a ridiculously huge vessel straight away. Also, did you just crash into each other? Well done.
With a couple of strips of generator now added to the top and the bottom of the craft, we can indeed add a brand new module to the craft in the form of the turret control system. So now we can have four unarmed turrets. So four mining turrets or of course four salvaging turrets. Either way, that's going to be really helpful as soon as we have the weapons to use. Actually, how many more mining weapons do we have? We have one more mining turret, and that's it. Although we do, of course, still have the salvaging turret as well. So, maybe I should actually use that. There we are. Then we can add our new weapons. So, where are you? Double chain gun, iron mining turret. Are you independent targeting? Yes, you are. You can simply go down here. Then on the other wing, which I'll have to transform into titanium, we can add the salvaging laser. Three, two, one, and mining lasers. Okay, gotta say, that is really cool having the mining weapons on those fins. I am really happy with that. When we have a fleet of these little mites, I am happy to say that mining will look absolutely awesome. And this faction hates everyone. My starting faction are just pure evil. Look, every time a salesman or anything comes here from any faction, instantly under attack the second it gets here. Now, is there a equipment dock somewhere nearby? An equipment dock, rather. Speaking is hard when you're on about two hours of sleep. Hello, Equipment Doc. So, do you have any independent targeting mining turrets? Yes, indeed you do. Fantastic. I will buy all three of those, surprisingly, because I'm going to want them equipped to the next might, and then the might after that, and the might after that. This way, we can completely strip mine pretty much anywhere we go very, very quickly. Plus, it would be nice to have a small fleet, until they annoy me too much, and then I'll probably go back to just having a single ship. But at least at the start, we're going to go for minions. You are very, very annoyingly placed there, Mr. Cargo Ship. Where's the docks? There's the docks. Thank you, Inertia Dampeners. You are fantastic. Uh, where is it? The one with independent. That's the one. And very, very cheap as well, which is nice. We could sell some stuff to them. We do not need the shield converter right now. We do not want the battery upgrade. We have better things than this one, so that can go away as well. Do we want both of these? We do for now just because I want weapons for the other mites as soon as possible. So that's okay, we'll keep everything else. Ooh, I should have checked this one first. This one also has independent targeting, but it's more efficient and does a little bit more damage. At least I think it does. So 1.7 damage, 17.3 efficiency. Okay, well, it simply means that the ones we already bought will be used for the minions. These? Well, these are for me. Or at least one is for me. I'll purchase... Uh, I can't even afford purchasing both, so never mind, I will not purchase both. Let's get rid of the salvaging laser. Until we need it next, then we can always just pop it back on, and... You go there. Well, with all of that said and done, and all of these glorious lasers going off, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. I've been playing now for a few hours, and I'm very happy with how far we've got. Although it's not the best ship in the world, I'm trying for a new style of building, at least in terms of the aesthetics, and from now on, I will be trying to go for a bit of fleet play. So I will be trying to make a fleet of the might, and then a fleet of larger ships as we continue to see if that's a bit more fun and a bit more balanced. I'm also keen to see just how strong the enemies get once we leave the safety of this area. Some people have told me that very, very quickly you run into things like dreadnoughts and destroyers pretty much everywhere. 
And honestly, the firepower of the pirates have been rather high. We've just been very lucky that we've been able to avoid most of their anger. Most of their aggro has gone against the faction which we're currently hiding amongst. So, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Avorian is a series you would like to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we are making at least one more of the ship we're currently using, and then we are leaving this sector to try and get some more titanium. Then, we'll upgrade all of our vessels to be completely made out of titanium, so that we are a lot more agile. Thank you so much for watching, I'm going to go and get some sleep now, and next time I'll be far, far more awake. Thank you again, and goodbye.